So children, last children, reaction of metals with the salts. Last one children. So children, how we were discussing in the initially we discussed reaction with oxygen, reaction with hydrogen, reaction with water. Then I told with acids. In acids also so many acids I showed HCl I told you, H2SO4 I told you, HNO3 nitric acid I told you, so many acids I told you. Okay, children. Now apart from this, apart from this, children, now I want to discuss with salts. With salts, what happens with salts? We will see. What are our famous elements, children, in the activity series? What are our metals? Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, gold, platinum, so on. Okay, children, this is called reactivity series. All of you know this is called reactivity series. What is the reactivity series? They are arranged in decreasing order of their reactivity. Potassium is very, very reactive, and after hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, go along on very, very less. Now, today's reaction, in today's what in today's class, what we'll discuss is that upper metals can displace lower metals. From their source. I hope you are able to understand. Children. Upper metals can displace lower metals from their source. Today we want to discuss that only. And all these are what type of reactions? Anyone? Can anyone say? Displacement reactions. Fantastic. Displacement reactions. We are going to discuss all displacement reactions. Okay. Some I will say, children, remaining you try to understand. That's all. Suppose potassium is there. Okay, children, suppose potassium is there. Imagine. Okay, suppose let us take chlorides. Okay, NaCl, sodium chloride is NaCl, calcium chloride is CaCl2, magnesium chloride is MgCl2, aluminium chloride is AlCl3, zinc chloride is ZnCl2, iron chloride is FeCl2, lead chloride is PbCl2. Potassium can displace all these metals, children, because potassium is more reactive. You know? So, what you will get here? KCl plus Na. What here you will get, children? KCl plus Ca. What here these both will give children? KCl plus Mg. Because more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their source. Are you able to understand children? Okay. Or else, in easy way, I will show you. Like this. Let me take chlorides of all elements. Chlorides of all elements. Potassium chloride is KCl. NaCl. MgCl to magnesium chloride. Uh, uh, calcium chloride. Calcium chloride. MgCl2, magnesium chloride, aluminium chloride, zinc chloride, Fe chloride, Pb chloride, and also other also we can discuss children. This much is enough. So children, now what I want to discuss is potassium can displace all these metals. Yes or no? Because potassium is more reactive. Potassium with NaCl gives what? KCl plus Na. Potassium with CaCl2 gives what? KCl plus Ca. Upper metals can displace lower metals. Okay. Now, suppose I will say sodium. Sodium is there. Suppose sodium is there. Children, what happens when I put sodium to KCl? Anyone? It doesn't react. Yes, children. The reaction doesn't happen. Yes, children. Anyone else? Boys? No displacement reaction. No reaction because down metals cannot displace upper metals. Down metals cannot displace upper metals, but sodium can displace all these metals. Suppose same sodium, if I react with CaCl2, what you'll get, children? Anyone? NaCl, NaCl, NaCl plus, NaCl plus, NaCl plus Ca, NaCl plus Ca. Because upper metals can displace lower metals, but it cannot displace this one because KCl is already more. Like this, children. That's what I wanted to say today. Okay, one more, children. One more. All of you see, children. One more. Suppose Ca is there, calcium. What happens to calcium? Calcium cannot displace this, but can displace this all. Because calcium cannot displace KCl and NaCl, but it can displace all these salts. Am I correct, children? Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This reaction, I will show you in the form of a chart, children. This reaction, I will show you in the form of a chart, then you will understand. So, what is the statement, children? More reactive metals display less reactive metals from their salts. Okay, are you able to understand, children? More reactive metals display less reactive metals from their salts. What is first one? KCl. What is second one? NaCl. Only some I am showing, children, not all. I am showing only some. Only some are children, not all. KCl, NaCl, CaCl2, MgCl2, not all children, only some are children. AlCl3, ZnCl2, this is three children. This is still here, I have enough children, okay, because all I can't show. Now, I will tell in the form of a chart with the potassium, with sodium, with calcium, with magnesium, with aluminium, with zinc with iron. Okay, children? You are able to understand? Like in the form of a chart, I will show. First one, I will explain, children. Remaining all, you should say, children. Okay? Potassium, will it react with potassium chloride, children? No. With sodium chloride, will it react, children? Yes. yes. With calcium chloride? Yes. Yes. Magnesium yes. chloride? Yes. 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 Now with sodium, I will show, children. Sodium, can it react with NACL, KCL, children? No. No, no, because sodium is below potassium. Na can it react with NaCl, children? No. 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 But Na can react with all these elements. You are able to understand, children? All of you mute your audios, please. Mute your audios, children. I'm getting this children. You are able to understand, children, what I'm telling? Now, yes. calcium, can it react with KCl? No. No, because calcium is below potassium. It can't react. With NaCl? No. With CaCl2, no one will react with itself, no children, no. But remaining all elements, it will displace. What it will do, remaining all elements? It will displace. Suppose Ca plus MgCl2 is there. Suppose Ca plus MgCl2 is there. What do you get, children? You get CaCl2 plus Mg because more reactive metal displays, less reactive metals from their salts. More reactive metals displays, less reactive metals from their salts. I hope you are able to understand. More reactive metals is place, less reactive metals from their salts. Okay, children, please try to understand. Next, magnesium. Potassium, it can't because it is present below potassium. Sodium, it can't because it is present below sodium. Calcium, it can't. Magnesium itself, no. But with aluminium, yes, it can displace aluminium because it is above aluminium. With zinc, yes, because it is above zinc. With iron, yes, because it is above iron. In the same way, aluminium with the KCL, yes or no? No. No, no. With NaCl? No. No. CaCl2? No. MgCl2? No. no. Insel? No. 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 ZnCl2? Yes. 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 FeCl2? Yes. 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 Yes means what? Yes means it can displace? It reacts. It can displace. Aluminium can displace zinc from its chloride. Aluminium can displace iron from its chloride. Okay, children? Please. Mute your audio, children. Some people, uh, someone's audio is getting a lot of disturbance. Zinc with KCL? No. NaCl? No. No. CaCl? No. No. NaCl2? No. no. AlCl3? No. Itself? No. 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 Yes. No. no. Yes. Iron is below all this, so it won't react with any one of them. Yes, Nana, mute your audio, please. Mute your audio. So, like this, children. Because iron is present below all of them. How can it displace them? It, any metal cannot displace upper metals, but it can displace lower metals. Okay, so more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their salts. Among these, the famous question which is every time they are asking is the famous question which they are asking repeatedly: What happens when iron is placed in copper chloride? What happens when iron is placed in copper chloride? What happens? You will get iron chloride plus copper. Copper is displaced. Why? Because copper is below iron. Copper is below iron. Okay, children, like these questions will come, children. And this is displacement reaction. So finally, I want to say that more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their salts. Okay, children, more reactive metal. Upper metals displace lower metals. More reactive metals displace less reactive metals. Again, upper metals displace lower metals. Upper metals displace lower metals. Or more reactive metals displace less reactive metals. But lesser cannot displace more. Okay, children. So all of you please copy on children. I'll give you one minute time. Please copy on children fast. Yeah, children. Anyone have any doubts?